So we're very honored to be commissioned to paint this mural for St. Vincent de Paul. The architects at RDG came to us and asked us to work with them on this. We've worked with uh, RDG on many projects before, but never one that seemed as important as this to recreate uh, Da Vinci's Last Supper. We're really thrilled to be invited to participate in this addition to St. Vincent de Paul's new church complex and create site-specific work with this really beautiful theme. Certainly for Catholics, the sacrifice of the Holy Mass is the summit of, of life as a Christian, as, an, as a Catholic. And so meditating on this moment of the institution of the Eucharist um, is really a beautiful um, thing to contemplate. One of the great challenges in composition and design, even though we know we're working from this masterpiece, is to fit it to this site-specific place. So, um, you know, to make it fill this greater vertical space, the original composition is more horizontal. So how do we take what is suggested um, in the original and extend it to a space that we actually can't see? The mural behind me here is about 20 feet wide and 12 feet high, whereas Da Vinci's was even larger than that by uh, 29 feet wide. The ceiling um, in the parish hall is 30 feet high and the wall is uh, probably about 50 feet wide. So visually, it's very significant in the room. One of the uh, admirable things that Zinni did was really go and study different versions of Da Vinci's Last Supper and really got his, his spirit into the painting before he even started the, the work. When I started, I started to be very much close to him, close even to his soul. A masterpiece ruin, it is in the wall, and it is the two copies that are very much alike. It is a beautiful copies, but it shows how you can imagine how marvelous that is by the master of Germany. Myself, I, as I said, I've been based on two sources. One, first one, uh, Leonardo, so which I studied very carefully, and the second one is uh, uh, the copy that uh, is in London done by John Pietrino. Um, I, I studied uh, not only this mural, but I study Leonardo's technique, how he starts. The second is, as I said, a copy of John Pietrino, which give you a better idea about uh, the colors, because they fade away from the mural. John Pietrino are the colors, more or less, the colors that he used, that Leonardo used, and, uh, you know, with better drawing and high quality, etc. So, between both of them, that's my, my mirror. And that's, it's just a beautiful artwork. It was a very challenging project for us because uh, there isn't a good reference. The original is in bad shape. Um, our artist Zini Veshi did a fantastic research to actually combine everything that he can find and be as close to the original as possible, which was the idea. And we love projects like that. We're very fortunate to have this great studio space here in Brooklyn. Um, what it allows, allows us to do uh, is to do paintings this large and step back and get a feel for them in their space and the scale that they're at. Like many murals uh, that we do in our space here, the mural is painted on canvas. Uh, it'll be rolled up, uh, shipped in a tube, and then when it gets to the site, we'll erect scaffold and glue it in one full section to the wall. We're very excited to see this mural leave here and be installed at the church. Uh, it's going to be uh, quite an experience uh, once it's up to, to actually see it in place.